Los Angeles was sort of an obvious choice after I toured pretty much all over the place and found that both the studio scene and the film scene was uh, pretty interesting here and seemed to offer a lot of ways to explore music. So that's ultimately what got me to come to LA. Uh, I have worked on many films and TV shows, including the Underworld series, uh, shows like Halt and Catch Fire, Sleeper Cell, and various others. Hi, I'm Paul Hasslinger. Uh, I'm a film composer. Uh, I was originally a member of Tangerine Dream and then switched into film and have been working as a film composer in LA for about 20 years. My process as a composer is pretty much studio-based. I've always treated the studio as an instrument. Um, that was my approach with Tangerine Dream already and, and I've kept this um, the idea to play in the studio and find a sound, which originally was for album productions, to translate that into film and pretty much produce film music the same way I used to produce uh, music for albums. And that's, that's the core of my approach really, is, is to treat the studio as a creative tool or a creative opportunity. I grew up in the first days of music software. This was still Atari-based and, and pretty crude. But it seemed to me always to have this potential to create our own playground, so to speak. So um, the software, both the workstation software and the instruments that we're using, to me are kind of tools of inspiration. If they're great, then I'll have some more ideas. And if they're not great, then I'll have less ideas. So I'm, it's kind of a symbiotic relationship where if the tools are great, usually you, you discover more new ground. Straylight is interesting from a number of aspects, uh, but the most important one, I think, is that it's the first custom-produced granular instrument. With that, I mean we've had granular uh, players that allow to load in audio and mangle the audio and then perform with it. But A, it was usually a multi-step process, and B, we then found that only certain audio will work well with granular synthesis when used in real time. So an instrument like Straylight offers the chance that you can make your spectral layers, drones, whatever you're using, different than anything else because you can perform them immediately and it's a, a sound type and a sound character that you won't find on any other instrument. So it's a truly unique sound palette that you have access to instantly and with your performance you custom fit it, thereby it doesn't sound like anything else or anybody else. So my approach to writing for picture really starts with hearing about the story and that can happen in, in different forms. Uh, you could get a script, you could talk with a director you worked with before, a producer, and they tell you something about the story. For me there's never a, a, a moment where I say I know exactly what this project needs, I just have certain ideas that I want to try. In essence, you hear about a story, then you learn details about the story. It could be a script, it could be a rough cut, it could be the locked cut, for all you know. And with that, you start working, you start placing music against it. You have to eventually get on the same track with the producers or the directors, or whoever's in charge, and then find really what is the, the most efficient combination. But for me, it's never been a process where I knew exactly what something needs. I had to try and I had to try different options and eventually something will crystallize and become the music of the project. Uh, Straylight is in use on everything that I'm uh, working on right now, uh, which includes one uh, television show and one feature film, uh, as well as several music projects. There's always a story. There's always somebody who wants to tell that story. Mm -hmm. 